How to recognize a toxic relationship. Have you ever been in a relationship where you constantly walked on eggshells, afraid to upset your partner? Or maybe you've had a friend or family member who just sucked the life out of you every time you were around them. If so, chances are you were caught up in a toxic relationship. But don't just take my word for it. Hit that subscribe button to stay locked and loaded with more hard-hitting wisdom on defending yourself from toxic relationships and other life pitfalls. I'll be breaking down new ways to inoculate your mind against these corrosive forces weekly, so you can spot the toxic landmines from a mile away and react with expert precision. Subscribe now and let's get to work future-proofing your happiness from the narcissistic parasites who would eagerly feed off it. Toxic relationships can be soul-crushing, leaving you drained, deflated, and questioning your self-worth. But breaking free from their venom is possible once you recognize the signs. In this video, we're going to unmask 10 glaring red flags that scream toxic relationship and provide four practical ways to detox from these harmful bonds. So settle in, because by the end of this, you'll have the tools to cut toxic ties and surround yourself with relationships that uplift you, not tear you down. 1. The Scorching Temper Let's start with a doozy, chronic anger issues. We're not talking occasional frustration here. No, this is a rage machine that blows up over the slightest perceived infractions. One moment you're having a casual chat, the next you're scrambling to defuse their blazing fury because you dared to breathe too loudly. Living with this ticking time bomb means constantly walking on eggshells, monitoring every word and action for fear of setting off the next meltdown. Why can't you just do things right for once? They hiss through gritted teeth as you huddle in the corner, wishing you could disappear. This toxic anger is really about control. By losing their cool, they manipulate you into changing your behavior out of sheer terror of another blow-up. Healthy relationships involve disagreements, but patterns of yelling, intimidation, and constant moodiness cross a line. 2. The Sardonic Sting Next up, we have the toxic duo of sarcasm and disparaging humor. Oh, I was just joking, they protest as you reel from their latest razor-edged barb thinly disguised as wit. But the truth is, this type of passive-aggressive hostility is just suppressed anger dressed up as jokes. Imagine your spouse constantly kidding that you're fat, lazy, or hopeless while their buddies guffaw in the background. Those jibes may seem harmless on the surface, but over time they erode your self-esteem and sense of self-worth like acid. Or perhaps your friend can't resist mocking your career, appearance, or life choices with a snide comment and a wink. Just some playful teasing, right? Wrong. These little jokes are toxic darts meant to inflate their ego by putting you down. Sadly, many victims learn to force a pained smile and shrug it off, thinking they're just being overly sensitive. Don't fall for it. This behavior has no place in a healthy relationship. 3. The Grudge Holding Grinch Then we have the toxic person with a punitive mindset who believes people deserve to be punished for wronging them. If you slip up or fail to meet their expectations, they make sure you pay and pay and pay. For example, let's say you disappoint your grudge-holding spouse by coming home late from work without calling first. No matter how profusely you apologize, the silent treatment and icy glares stretch on for days as they savor making you squirm. You should have thought about that before you disrespected me. They sneer when you finally beg for forgiveness. These misery merchants seem to take a twisted delight in doling out harsh penalties for perceived wrongs. Transgress against them and you'll spend an eternity in penance. There are no easy pardons in their merciless world. Don't mistake this for passionate intensity. It's straight-up toxicity cloaked in self-righteousness. 4. The Controlling Conductor Have you ever felt like you were a puppet in your own life, manipulated and micromanaged by your partner at every turn? If so, you've met the controlling conductor who is the master at pulling your strings. Using criticism, threats and emotional blackmail as instruments, they meticulously choreograph your every move to suit their needs. I don't think that shirt looks good on you. They trill sweetly. 
But we both know that's code for don't you dare defy my fashion advice. Disobey their orchestrations by making a choice they disapprove of and you'll be swiftly brought back into line, either through withering put-downs, prolonged sulking, or reminders that you're devastatingly ungrateful for not following their impeccable guidance. At its core, this behavior isn't about coddling or style tips. It's about stripping you of autonomy and enforcing obedience through fear and shame. Like a tyrant ruling their tiny empire, the controlling conductor won't rest until your spirit is crushed and you exist solely to serve their whims. Now doesn't that sound like a manic dystopia you want to escape? 5. The Bottomless Pit Imagine constantly feeding a ravenous maw that's never satisfied. That's life with the bottomless pit and their endless hunger for reassurance, validation and obedience. No matter how much you sacrifice to fulfill their gaping need for approval, it's never enough. Do you really love me? They pout after you've spent hours patiently reassuring them yet again. Prove it by cancelling your plans with friends tonight. And because you can't bear another sobbing meltdown about how unappreciated they feel, you cave. These needy vampires suck you dry with their relentless emotional demands and melodramatic crises. Saying no or setting boundaries is inevitably punished with sulking, screaming fits or silent treatments designed to bludgeon you into submission. Over time, this toxic cycle of neediness and control grinds away at your self-esteem and sense of identity. After all, you've been conditioned to believe your worth is inextricably linked to their fickle contentment. That's no way for a vibrant human being to live. Psst, the soapboxing sniper. Have you ever been trapped in a one-sided conversation with a toxic person who just loves the sound of their own voice? You know, the one who uses sharing opinions as an excuse to blindly criticize anything that crosses their pretentious path? Enter the soapboxing sniper, a relentless stream of scorn and judgment poorly disguised as lively discourse. Whether it's your fashion sense, career path, or core values in their crosshairs, they pelt you with scathing pot shots from their imaginary pedestal. Well, I just think it's sad someone with your talents is settling for such an uninspired job. They sniff while picking apart your life choices through a warped lens of superiority. Protest and you're dismissed as uncivilized and unwilling to engage in intelligent discussion. But here's the truth, the soapboxing sniper doesn't want a discussion. They want a podium to freely broadcast their inflated sense of moral and intellectual superiority by belittling everyone else. It's a pathetic attempt to puff themselves up by trampling anyone who challenges their bloated ego. 7. The Devious Manipulator Much like a puppet master operating from the shadows, the devious manipulator is a pro at pulling strings to mold reality to their liking. Only in this case, you're the one being jerked around on their strings. Their MO is to skillfully seed guilt, doubt, and obligation to coerce you into bending to their self-serving agenda. If you really loved me, you'd quit that job I hate so we could spend more time together, they pout, capitalizing on your fears of being seen as a inattentive partner, or maybe it's an incessant series of innocent questions artfully designed to chip away at your resolve. But why won't you do this ridiculous thing they want? Don't you care about making me happy? Exhaust from the endless badgering eventually sets in until you simply give in to make it stop. The devious manipulator is a master of emotional sleight of hand. With deftly planted suggestions, they meticulously hack away at your confidence and independence, cultivating a dynamic where you exist solely to please them. Break the trance and you're punished by cold shoulders, explosive tempers or calculated reminders of what an ungrateful disappointment you are. 8. The Mooching Black Hole These toxic vacuums only seem to operate in one direction taking, taking and taking some more while giving precious little in return. Welcome to the self-absorbed world of the mooching black hole. Whether it's perpetually borrowing money they conveniently forget to repay or demanding endless favors. Without lifting a finger in return, this abusive narcissist views you as a bottomless resource to be exploited. After all, real give and take is for chumps when the universe was crafted solely to serve their interests. 
so they obliviously barge ahead, monopolizing your time, energy and finances like it's an entitlement. Your needs and boundaries are utterly invisible to their myopic field of vision. Any requests for reciprocation are inevitably deflected with justifications about being too stressed or conveniently forgetful. Stick around long enough and you're guaranteed to end up as a husked hollow remnant having your life force slurped away by their gaping maw of selfishness. The mooching black hole will happily milk you dry with zero regrets. That's just how bloated their self-absorption runs. 9. The Battle-Ready Soldier For the toxic battle-ready soldier, life is an endless war wherein everyone is a potential enemy to be combated, outwitted and slain. Innocuous interactions become grounds for manufactured conflict and distrust. You dared to hold the door for a stranger? How dare you openly flirt before their eyes? Spoke politely to the cashier? Obviously you have a secret crush on them. With the battle-ready soldier, everything is interpreted through a maximally suspicious, adversarial lens tailor-made for blowing things out of proportion. Once they've constructed their mistaken narrative, they proceed to treat you as a hostile foe needing to be defeated and browbeaten into compliance. And woe unto you if you attempt to protest their baseless accusations. That's just further proof of your treachery and the maniacal inner war raging inside their mind. Exhausting doesn't even begin to describe the experience of diffusing meltdown after meltdown from the relentless battle-ready soldier who views compromise and de-escalation as forms of weakness. Being incessantly harangued and berated is the bitter normal you must accept unless you find the strength to retreat. 10. The self-victimizing martyr. For the melodramatic self-victimizing martyr, being perpetually aggrieved is their calling in life. From their delusional mindset, the entire world is out to oppressively crush their individuality at every turn. Minor inconveniences are gross injustices. Polite requests from loved ones constitute excruciating exploitation. People simply existing around them magically transforms into personal attacks on their human dignity. Dialing up the hysterics to 11 is their specialty. Why me? They'll wail after you accidentally forgot to use the specific color-coded sticky note system they imposed to dictate household chores. I put up with so much agony from you. Don't you care about how much I sacrifice? In their tiny, desperate mind, they've been cosmically wronged in ways too profoundly deep for normal folk to comprehend. Not even literal martyrs have suffered as much indignity and anguish as them. With zero self-awareness or perspective, the self-victimizing martyr interprets every neutral situation through their patented lens of melodramatic offense. Expect constant guilt trips and passive-aggressive jabs any time you fail to satiate their quenchless thirst for validation and martyred soul-bearing. Suggestions for breaking free. 1. Take a tactical retreat. Escaping a toxic relationship requires first creating physical and emotional space to reflect clearly. This temporary retreat gives you a much-needed breather from the narcissistic mind games and a chance to gain some objectivity on the harmful patterns. During this separation period, check in with yourself. How do you feel without the toxic person's dark cloud looming? What aspects of the relationship, if any, do you genuinely miss? Getting reacquainted with life outside their oppressive orbit is essential for mustering the resolve to break free for good. You build an emotional fortress Disentangling from a toxic bond demands fortifying rigid boundaries and emotional defenses to protect yourself. Even in unavoidable interactions, consciously tune out their manipulative digs and melodramatic tirades designed to erode your sense of self. Treat their motivations with skepticism and stop automatically viewing their criticism and judgments as reflections of your worth. Refuse to justify, rationalize or defend your perfectly valid thoughts and decisions to them you owe these psychic parasites no such explanations. 3. Shift the spotlight. As overpowering as toxic people may seem, paradoxically, they tend to be expert manipulators precisely because we enable their abusive behaviors. Perhaps you storm off after their taunts, providing them an ego boost for winning the fight. 
Maybe you exhaust yourself endlessly rationalizing your choices to them. The key is switching that parasitic dynamic. Instead of feeding into their toxic plots by reacting as they predict, deprive them of that slippery satisfaction. Act cheery and unaffected by their barbs. Disengage calmly from their dramatic provocations, ultimately focusing on improving yourself while graying out their desperate emotional rocketing starves them of their much-craved narcissistic fuel. For seek outside support, breaking free from toxic bonds can be immensely difficult to do alone. But involving professional guidance and outside support can be the key to escaping their pernicious gravity. Whether it's counseling to help coach you through the process or just surrounding yourself with a crew of positive people who value genuine self-worth, turning to others provides an essential reminder that you don't have to tacitly accept the toxicity. They can validate your emotions, reinforce your boundaries and buoy you with encouragement as you tactically disengage from the caustic abuser. Remember, reclaiming control of your life from a toxic relationship isn't failure. It's the first courageous step towards health and healing. By now you've seen that toxic relationships come cloaked in many insidious forms, from the raging tempests to the martyred black holes. On the surface they seem extremely different, but at their core they all share one unfortunate DNA strand, the desperate need to belittle, control and violate the personal boundaries of those around them. Though permanently severing these bonds can seem daunting, doing so is absolutely vital for safeguarding your precious dignity, self-worth and overall well-being. With conscious effort, you can and will reclaim your personal power from these poisonous parasites. So dust off your mental armor, secure your boundaries and don't be afraid to batten down the hatches if need be. Because in the end, the most radical act of self-love is simply refusing to tolerate toxic relationships corroding away the authentic core of who you are. Take that first step today by evaluating your closest ties for these unmistakable red flags. You deserve to surround yourself with bonds that enrich and empower you, not toxic tendrils constantly sapping your energy and spirit. Godspeed on breaking free from the poison. Before we go, I want to remind you all to subscribe to this channel to get more hard-hitting wisdom on how to bulletproof your life from toxic influences. We'll be serving up new life hacks weekly to make sure you thrive rather than just surviving in today's harsh realities. Don't become another faceless victim crushed by toxic agendas. Hit that subscribe button and let's get to work arming your mind with the skills to win.